Hello and welcome to AV Cyberactive once again. Now today's uh, video is going to be uh, based on again the popular demand which is on the Mitra Attack uh, framework and uh, specifically today it's going to be on Mad Defender framework. So you know, we all know that you know the, nowadays the uh, if you go on a cybersecurity interview everybody's asking you for if you have knowledge on Mitra Attack uh, framework. Uh, how the techniques, uh, the TTPs, how they work, technique, tactics, and procedures. And I've made, uh, I've made separate video on that when you can go ahead and check that out and it seems like it's getting a lot of attention over there. However, today's video is going to be different. Why? Because uh, um, there's, a project called My uh, there's a project called Mitre and Genuinity. And from there, we have a, a project or separate team that got separated and they've made their own project and it's called the MAT20 uh, or Mitre Attack uh, Defender. Okay, it's going to be interesting one. So stick till the end and uh, subscribe and like the video. All right, let's jump right into it. Okay, so uh, what you see in your screen right now is the mad 20 technologies uh ingenuity project teams project now what it said as i've explained before that uh, it was uh, the the mitre and ingenuity, ingenuity teams was formed in the year 2019 and then um, mad 20 the reason it's called mad 20 is why because it's uh, it was formed in the year 2020 and it got separated as a separate project. Now, what it says in the website is Mat20 Technologies is a collection of experienced collaborators on a mission to equip cybersecurity professionals with tools and uh, necessary uh, tools to combat increasingly demand for the cybersecurity landscape. So, what it actually wants to say is, you know, uh, it's it's a team, and then uh, they have come out with a set of uh, pr uh, you know trainings, and also uh, there's a certification program as well. I'll tell you about certification process you can get mad certified you know <laughs> that's uh, quite an insane thing to say that but it's a mad certification that you get certified on and I haven't seen a lot of videos on the internet surrounding uh, around mad certifications and but however what I've seen interestingly is there are job postings coming out uh, and they are sometimes asking for mad certification or mad 20 certification okay let's look more into it Again, it says uh, Mat20 looks uh, forward in providing cybersecurity professional, whether new or experienced, on the MITRE attack at the highest level of living and relevant content. Of course, they would uh, want to go and say that. Now, what you have to do is go ahead and log into the website. Now, the website is mad.mad20.io and I'll link it in the description down below. Uh, however, I did not directly come to this website. When I went to the Mitre, uh, when I when we uh, go, when I go ahead and uh, go ahead and go to the Mitre attack website, if I go ahead and search Mitre and Genuinity uh, project. Okay. And what I see is the Mitre and Genuinity project is just not uh, building this uh, uh, a, a group. Um, I mean, it's building a group and it has many projects. It's a nonprofit organization and tries to contribute the best practices, which is there in the cybersecurity in a lot of other ways. So uh, if I come to the website, it says about who we are. It's, of course, a nonprofit organization. Uh, it contributes to the best security practices uh, all around the cybersecurity space for semiconductors, um, cybersecurity, we, we're coming on to that one, uh, telecommunication and health. This is something new that I see. Uh, we identify potential health security threats and ensure faster public uh, health pandemic uh, response and incubate new ideas. So there's a lot of things that it's doing, but in specifically for cybersecurity, if I click here, and I go to uh, cybersecurity. I usually got interested to this, and if if I slowly come down below, what I also saw. I mean, it's surprising that they kept it at the last. This is very really interesting. It says the Mitre Defender Framework. Okay, Mitre Attack Defender Framework. This is not the attack framework. This came out of the attack framework. It's the Defender Framework, and it's a training and credentialing program that enables and strengthening our threat uh, informed uh, informed 
defense approach in cybersecurity. Now, this is how, how I was introduced to MAD20 uh, program. Now it says login. Of course, if you go ahead and click here, you would be taken to a website where they will ask you to go ahead and register for yourself. Go ahead, registration is free. It does not cost you anything. Now, this is how the landing page is going to look like. It's it's got of course my name on it, the Mat 20. The reason was why because it was formed in, in the year 2020. So just they decided to name it 20. I don't know why they picked up that name. Uh sort of kind of reminds me of COVID-19 right <laughs> all right uh mad 20 is an ex uh, is also excited to announce that it's new partnership with credly to display earned certifications which means it's got a roadmap i'm coming to there it's got a roadmap of activities that you can do and if you go through those if you pass through those uh, you'll be given a badge or and if you pay for the certification i mean pay for the program or subscribe for the membership you can even get the certification done as well now uh, let's see how that works so if i go to the mat 20 page so they've got a lot of things over here but specifically i want you to pay attention to what it says over here my roadmap okay interesting right let's have a look at it real close now if i zoom into this i'll see, you'll see that it says attack fun, uh, fundamentals and from there it goes ahead and dissipates into uh, cyber threat intelligence uh, that's again cyber threat intelligence it's got an entire roadmap security operations my favorite um, attack adversary emulation again fundamentals and threat hunting it also goes to adversary emulation and also goes to detecting uh, detection engineering. Now, these are some of the new things. It's It's got a new tag to it. So it's coming up with those. Now, I haven't taken all the uh, courses yet. I've just started with it. But I've there's there are a lot of things that I found which are different from Mitro Attack, uh, the regular Mitro.org, Mitro Attack framework that they have over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on the first one that is uh, Mitro Attack Fundamentals. So I'll recommend that if you uh, want to get trained on the Mitro Attack Defender uh, framework, this is from the defender's perspective, how you can defend your organization. Uh, I would say go ahead and get uh, yourself trained on your path or, or on the path that you're chosen one. For me, my favorite one would be security operations on this side. Now, if you click on that one, in, as a matter of fact, if you click on any one of them, you would see it says get training, earn badge. Get training and earn badge. Now, I'll tell you what's the difference at the end, okay? Stick to, stick with me. I click over here, get training. I'll open this page so it's got video modules for now you know you click on to click on those you get video modules I'll go ahead and go to one of the modules it'll it just not introduce you to the mitro attack it, it just does not jump onto the mitro attack framework it'll uh, I mean the defender framework it'll walk you through with the entire mitro attack pack how it works the, what are the different techniques tactics and procedures all the TDPs will explain you that and then from there it'll be it'll make it easier for you to you know grasp the other topics so it's got uh, tactics and techniques let's go over here and uh, try to explore this I think it's going to go ahead and start playing the video. I'll go ahead and, uh, and mute that one. So yeah, it'll go ahead and it's just an explanation that it goes ahead and gives you. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, trying to make you understand what's a command and uh, scripting and interpreter and all of those. So it's asking you to do that. Uh, now, what's interesting is, let me come back over here and go back to the roadmap and you would see it's uh, so we've got the cyber threat intelligence security operations advisory adversary emulation fundamentals so it starts with fundamentals if you see fundamentals of mad of course from here it's the purple color so it's the color so you know the if the color just follows from here you've got security operation center fundamentals to be done adversary fundamentals to be done uh, threat hunting fundamentals and again adversary emulation fundamentals now it's not like 
you cannot jump onto any one of the topics. Say, for example, I go to my math security operation synthesis. So I'll go ahead and zoom out of this. Enter, earn a batch, not right now, I'll come to that. <coughs> Get training. And it. you see on the right hand side, it says this course will prepare you for fundamentals, analysis, synthesis. Okay. So of course, this is synthesis. So this is going to prepare you for that as well. So it's got four videos for video projects. And what was also interesting to found I, what I found out that at the end of every video, there is a question that will ask you, it's not a tough question. It's not, a, not something that if you don't, if you're not able to pass the exam, that it won't be able to go ahead. You just, uh, if even if you answer it wrong, you'd be, it'll allow you to go ahead. And now, let's come to something that you've been waiting for this long that is certification how do uh, how does one get certified for it so if i go ahead and click on this you would see again uh you would see at the end of every roadmap there is cyber threat uh, intelligence certification uh SOC operation certification it says adversary emulation certification uh, detection certification purple teaming certification i'll go to well my favorite security operation certification and it says course detail earn the next batch uh, if i click close course details of course it'll go to the course detail it'll ask you you know uh, start giving you yeah, the assessments and the videos but that is not what i want to do what i want to do is earn the batch how do you get certified in mad 20 as a security operation in security operations so if you click on that one you see again you get to get training or earn the batch now if i click on earn the batch you see what it says over here ready to earn the batch which means it's assuming that uh, you have done all the all the uh, you know you've gone through all the video materials you've gone through uh the q a's that it asked you there are some lab experiments that you can also do as in the lab sessions are also there lab sessions i haven't gone through them uh, uh you know personally but i found uh, i just went through it randomly and i found out that they are really quite helpful if I click on subscribe, what I see is you got two plans over here, four ninety nine a year or twenty four ninety nine. That is USD a year. Uh, the difference is, let me first introduce you to the four ninety nine a year. It says you get Mat Twenty Skills Hub on Demand, self paced training, which you already have, even if you don't pay the two ninety nine. This is interesting. It says access to Mat Twenty Living Certification. So, which means this project they will keep uh, updating it from time to time. And if they have any updates available, they will ask you to uh, probably what I'm thinking is recertify yourself, go through the exams that it has, and it'll be a living certification. You can all, always say that I have I'm certified in Mat Twenty, Mat Twenty Twenty. Again, access to all your exclusive invitations to Mat20 events and access to Mat20 leadership material and supplemental uh, resources. What's different here in if you pay two, uh, you know, twenty four ninety nine a year, it says access to Mat20 Cyber Range dynamic training content powered by Cyber Range. So I'm not quite sure how is this applicable or really helpful as of now because this I haven't seen any video on the internet uh, or uh, uh, the Mat20 is not even advertising itself that much. I think it's left up to the cybersecurity community for all of us and all of us cybersecurity professionals to explore this and uh, go ahead and start subscribing. And I think since you know it's a non-profit organization, they will try to get more materials done. They will get uh, more knowledge from outside content. And they, as and when we pay for the, uh, the pay for the certification or pay for this exam training, they would be able to develop their uh, portfolio even much better. So that was it for MAD20. I'd say if you're new into cybersecurity or if you have just a little bit of experience, uh, about two to three years of experience, go ahead with this. If you are already someone who has about eight to nine years plus years of experience in cybersecurity, you don't really have to go for this because uh, it totally depends on you if you want to be on the more on the technical side. And uh, this is a good knowledge for you to have. Uh, but I'll say, go ahead and still, nevertheless, go ahead and go for this uh, certification. Uh, this is the free training. And of course, enrolling for $24.99 and $4.99 USD, it's up to your choice. Now, I personally have started my journey. And if I go ahead and can check my own roadmap, it will uh, show, show me the certifications or the badges that you've earned. 
So which means at the end of every um, course or a project, uh, end of every module, it'll uh, give you a badge. And that is what it says in the beginning that, you know, you would be registering it with your email and in your email, they will send you a badge that uh, you have uh, progressed so far. It's just a kind of a push to, you know, give you just a push. So again, MAD20 project, this is fairly new, this is fairly unexplored, it is not that uh, not that old, but that not that new as well, because it was released in the year 2020, I, I guess it did not get that uh, uh, recognition and, uh, yeah, and did not come into the limelight, but slowly and slowly people are getting to know about it, and looking at the value that it's able to provide through its certification, and uh, the people who have done the certification, it looks like uh, they are doing a pretty good job, but it's not there, there yet. The trainings, uh, some of them are, uh, I, I felt like they, the, the person who was given the voiceover is, has been pushed to, you know, give it, uh, to just speak on, on it. Some of, I, I see that the vocals on all of the training videos are different. Some of them are given by uh, a lady and then something the, uh, by some male voices. Some of them are automated voices. So there's some kind of, um, I would say not uh, uniformity. It's not uniform, but I think uh, it is something that you can do and extract the meaningful information out of it. Uh, for me, since I have this, uh, you know, uh, thing for you think should be uniform so i'm able to uh, you know pinpoint all of these but for you if something you want to get the value out of it you definitely go ahead and go through all of these courses and i'm pretty sure you would be able to crack all of the uh, uh the exams or the modules or the lab trainings that it has to provide all right now with that that was just a quick introduction of the mad 20 uh, defender pack uh, micro attack defender pack if you want to know more about it if you want me to do more videos on that one or try it, uh, if i can go ahead and try to explain you on what are the different modules that it has and how you can make best use of it uh do let me know in the comments and make it interactive if you've liked this video you know what to do subscribe like share this content and uh, i'll see you on the next video stay safe online have a good one bye bye